Let's write a C program to print n co-prime numbers. Instead of n, I'll call it limit. That makes more sense for me. If user enters phi to limit, our program must output phi co-prime numbers like this. You can see the result on your computer screen right now. So we have five co-prime numbers, 2, 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 5, and 4, 5. These are co-prime numbers. So remember this first co-prime number that is 2 comma 3. We will be using that as values, initial values for n1 and n2 or num1 or and num2. Okay, so remember this first co-prime number that is 2 comma 3. Please write it down also. It will be helpful for you to understand the program. So, so as I told you, n1 comma n2. So first prime number that is co-prime number is 2 comma 3. 3. But note that we have non-prime numbers here. So these two numbers need not be prime numbers. Okay. Their relationship is called co-prime number or relative prime number. Okay. Remember that. So if user enters n1 as 8 and n2 as 15, we find uh, factors of 8 and 15. So this is factor of 8 and this is factor of 15. But we have only one as common factor here. Okay, so no other factors are common in this factors list. So 8 comma 15 are co-prime numbers. By definition, two numbers are said to be co-prime or relative prime numbers if they do not have any common factors other than one. So this is the definition. So with that definition, if user enters limit is equal to five, we need to output this result. Okay, why not? Uh, we just see some code snippets here to understand the logic. So I'll write while loop here. So to cover the limit logic, while limit inside the loop, I'll decrement the value of limit by one. So this makes sense. So once limit is zero, this while loop, uh, the control exits this while loop until limit value is positive, while loop code keeps on iterating, okay? This is limit logic. So we need to write a for loop to fetch num1 and num2. So initial value is 2 comma 3. So n1 will be 2 and n2 will be 3 initially. So going forward, we need to fetch other numbers too. So we will be using a for loop for that. So num1 is 2 and num2 is 3. The first value that is first co-prime number. So this for loop should iterate until num1 is less than or equal to num2. So outside this for loop, I'll increment the value of num2 because we need to go further and check for other pairs. Okay, this condition should be true uh, so that this for loops keeps on for loop keeps on iterating and num num1 value keeps on incrementing by one for each iteration of this for loop. So let's insert that logic inside while loop. So where is limit minus minus in this code? Something is missing here. So you need not worry, I know that. I'll let you know where we, need, where we need to write this limit minus minus logic and why we need to write that code in particular place, okay? To exit this while loop, the control should exit this while loop. So, so in our for loop, selects the number for num1 and num2, okay? So this is what we use this for loop for. Next, we will check if num1 and num2 are actually co-prime numbers. We have already done this in a separate video tutorial. So follow the link present on your computer screen right now and please watch that video before going any further. If you watch that video, this logic, this part of the logic will be very easy for you. So I'll explain here. So I'll take count is equal to two. We can't take it as one because number one divides every other number perfectly. So we start with two. So count this for loop iterates until count is less than or equal to min. That means whichever number in this num1 and num2 is smaller will be copied to min. Okay. So inside this for loop, we will check if num1 and num2 are perfectly divisible by the value of count. If that's true, true, we will set flag value is equal to zero. That means num1 and num2 are not co-prime numbers because some other number perfectly divides. That is there is a common factor for num1 and num2. In that case, we will set flag is equal to zero. That means num1 and num2 are not co-prime numbers. We will insert this code into for loop. So after this for loop, we will check if flag, that means if flag is positive. In that case, it's a co-prime number. If it's zero, it's not. 
not coprime so if it's one then it's coprime number so we will print those two numbers so inside this if we will write limit minus minus because if limit is five we need to output five such uh, coprime numbers right so once once it prints first value we will decrement the value of limit once it prints second value we will decrement the value of limit once again like that uh, we will decrement the value five times so this makes sense to write limit minus minus here inside if so all this code will come under this for loop okay so we will still add some code here this while loop should exit right somehow but limit minus minus is inside the some other loop that is for loop this for loop this entire code is not directly under while this entire code is under some for loop so we need to check if limit is equal to zero in that case somehow we need to make num1 greater than num2 to exit this outer for loop so we'll write if limit is equal to zero num1 is equal to num2 plus some random number 10 that makes num1 greater than num2 so for loop exits and while loop also exits since limit is zero so this is the code please write it down now now we will write the actual program i'll take integer variables limit num1 num2 count for loop counter flag to check if selected num1 num2 are coprime or not i'll take slnvo is equal to 1 i'll assign it to 1 the serial numbers starting from 1 so that's it i'll ask the user how many coprime numbers you want to print So that I'll store inside the address of integer variable limit. Remember I'm using the variable name limit instead of n. Okay. So I'll write while this limit that is while this limit is positive. Okay. So if user enters limit value as five, we need to output this result. So inside while loop, I'll decrement the value of limit so that limit at some point will become zero and while loop gets the control exits the while loop okay now we need to assign values for num1 and num2 okay for that we need to write a for loop before that let me write a code snippet if this flag is positive that is if that flag is is equal to one or just we can write flag instead of flag is equal to one if it's positive that is if flag is one we will print percentage d and percentage d are coprime so this is the condition that is flag must be one so inside this i'll write limit minus minus so this is the code because we need to decrement the we need to print five coprime numbers if user enters limit as five if user enters limit value as 10 we need to output 10 such coprime numbers so it makes sense to decrement the value of limit inside this if condition so now let's assign two to num1 and for loop should uh, iterate until num1 is less than or equal to num2 and for each iteration of this for loop num1 value will be increment by 1 so let me assign value 3 to num2 a initial value of number 3 so you can even assign 0 to it it still works or 1 2 or 3 or 4 if you enter 4 the first result will be missing that is 2 comma 3 will you will miss that so it's it will be wrong result so we need to give n to a value from 0 to 3 okay so for first iteration this for loop iterates from 2 to 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 okay we need to somewhere increment the value of num2 so that we can go further and check for other numbers so i'll increment the value of num2 here outside this for loop so for next iteration, num2 value will be 4. 
so this for loop iterates for 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 and 2 comma 4 and so on now let me assign 2 to count because every number will be perfectly divisible by 1 so we need to start with 2 now count value iterate this for loop until count value is less than or equal to minimum of num1 and num2 uh, if this for loop is executing that means num1 is less than num2 so i'll give count less than or equal to num1 so i'll i'll simply assume that flag is equal to 1 that means num1 and num2 are co prime so now using if condition i'll check that if num1 modulo division count is equal to 0 and num2 modulo division count is equal to 0 if this is true then it's not a co prime number so i'll assign 0 to flag and break out of this for loop so let me cut this snippet of code from here and place it in its appropriate position so break breaks out of this for loop okay so we need to paste that code after that for loop this for loop so break break out breaks out of this for loop so after that for loop we check the value of flag if flag value is 1 then it's co prime number if flag value is 0 then they are not co prime number okay one more thing uh, even if value of limit is 0 we won't exit this while loop because our entire logic is present inside a for loop this logic is present inside a big for loop here and not directly inside while loop so we need to make sure we exit this for loop once limit value is 0 or else we will get keep getting other co prime numbers uh, more than the user entered limit number of times so if if limit is equal to 0 we can simply write exit 0 and to make sure this works we need to include stdlib.h header file so instead i can even write num1 is equal to num2 uh, num1 is equal to num2 plus some random number like plus 10 or something like that to make sure num1 is greater than num2 in that case this condition becomes false if num1 is greater than num2 the control exits this for loop okay so let me write num1 and num2 here so let me check once again no everything is working i guess i'll give five so these are the five co prime numbers you can count it one two three four five so let me even number that output i'll write percentage d so we have taken another variable called s l n o serial number i guess so i can write it here s l n o plus plus okay we have initial value of one i'm writing plus plus here so it in keeps on incrementing for each execution of this code okay let me check that out so if we give five okay it's nicely numbering our result so we get five co prime numbers let me give 10 it should print out 10 co prime numbers and it's working let me try for 20 okay nice it's working let me give 100 now let me check for 100 co prime numbers and its execution time oh within seconds it could output 100 co prime numbers Okay, that's great so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends online using whatsapp twitter linkedin facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you